Hey guys, welcome back to another ZMS podcast. Today we're going to be talking about WandaVision episode 3. Yes. Um, so what did you think about this episode overall? It was good. I think it was kind of slow, I guess, at some parts. Like, the pacing was fast, it started off, but, like, some scenes were longer than necessary, I feel like. Yeah, and it really only took a place, you know, in one, in one real location, the whole episode. Yeah, there was one location, the, there was no movement or anything. Which was fine, it was, you know, fun. And it had the funny humor from the other episodes mixed mm-hmm. in with, you know, deeper development of the mystery and plot and stuff. Yeah, and the What ending, was your favorite moment from the episode? My favorite moment from the episode was the ending, where they went to, they cut to a normal Marvel-like scene. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I think I, I think it's going to be interesting because, like, when you think about it, Lucas, and you probably agree with me, when you think about the trailers and stuff, we pretty much saw everything that was in the trailers. Yeah, we haven't got to the Halloween 80s, I think, yet. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's interesting. But, like, other than the Halloween stuff, we've really seen... Also, I want to check something. We're in the trailers, were the 70s seen the normal aspect ratio? No. Let me check. I know the uh, 80s were in the different aspect ratio, but I want to see if the 70 scenes were in the aspect ratio that the episode was in. So I'm going to get this on and fast forward to a 70s scene, which it would be this. See, look, in the trailer, the Yeah, go full screen. That's 80s. That's Halloween. Oh, yeah, right. Let me go back to 70s. Look, right here. Then if we go to the sixties, then it has the bars. So in the trailer, the seventies were supposed to be widescreen, but yeah, well, it's not accurate. Think even here, look, it's expanding during the dinner. It's not what happened in the movie. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, I was just pointing it out. I never yeah. said that was supposed to happen. So because like if you look at that that trailer over there, I'm sure it's the more real. It's the newer one, I think. This that one? one. Yeah, so I'm sure that one has like the correct. If we go aspect. to the 70s. Yeah, in the 70s. Yeah, and the, yeah, See, yeah, that's yeah. the craft aspect ratio. Yeah. Alright, so what is happening, Dweck? Um, I definitely think Wanda's definitely creating this world, I think. Yeah. Because I think Wanda has to be creating this world in the sense that she can control things at her own will. Like, like she doesn't like the stuff that, Wanda, that Vision's questioning this reality. Oh, we're just going to read... Rewind that. Oh, yeah. we see a bead kipper that's questionable. Oh, we're just gonna rewind that. I think why would anyone else but Wanda want to re- rewind it? And and plus she's just so powerful. She has the power to do it. Um, and you know you know she's also able to be scary, but also be you know funny at the same time. Cause <sighs> yeah. like there's it was chilling at the end when she's like. What did you say about Pietro? What did you say about my brother? Yeah, it's scary. She's and a the, good horror. Yeah, and the, which is what they said. Doctor Strange is going to be a horror. So yeah, maybe she'll and, be and, the villain. And, and Wanda had one of my favorite scenes in Endgame, where where she goes up to Thanos and she's like, "You took everything from me," and and Thanos is like, "I don't even know you." And then all she says is, "You, you will. will." And literally, she would have killed Thanos if those ships didn't atta- didn't. Fire. Rain fire. Yeah, because she was like Rain about to. Rain fire. And then she, yeah, and then he Thanos yells at, and the the blasts you know start firing down, and that's what ended the fight. Not Wanda losing to Thanos. Mm. And I think that just shows she's like one of the most powerful, not mutants, obviously. But... Oh, they might be mutants. Soon. No, I don't think so. Also, uh, here's something that's not related to WandaVision. I want to ask you in Spider Man Three, do you think that they'll set up the Fantastic Four? No. All right. I was just wondering because Google swearing three set photos because there's new set photos about like. Oh, I haven't seen that. I was just wondering because he's with the characters a lot. There's new ones about you know different images. Images. Want me to go to images? Where is it? So there's some you know looks like it's during winter time. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go to a website where they might have it. Is this one? Mm-hmm. So it looks like that's black okay, and white. Scroll down. So picture. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Okay, no, there's there's another one where they show missing children's photos, and I was wondering if like maybe those missing children photos were want were were the because maybe well I, I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that everyone there is not is real, because especially with Peter Pan donuts and pastries. I definitely think that uh, Google set photos missing children. Or just Google set photos and look at photos. Spider and three set photos. 
very set photos. Set. Go to just images and scroll down. Like this. Oh, uh, this is one. Yeah, so it looks like a TikTok. No, no, that's not, that's not an irrelevant one. That's just. Alright, um, I'm looking. I guess there's not any on the internet. Yeah, I've seen, I think I know what you're talking about, the one where there's like different posters for different things. Like people like, there's a con there's a conspiracy theory that Mysterio was at, was right, and Spider Man was that like evil and stuff. Yeah. Well, also, but... and they showed a clip of Peter walking around normal, so they must have, uh, by then it either is a flashback or they cleared his name. It's yeah. probably. Well, the all they latter. have to do. If you think about it, since Peter Parker works closely with Slooks, or Peter Parker knows Nick Fury, who and which knows Skrulls, all they have to do is have Spider Man fighting around and have Peter Parker on the ground. Be like, and then, 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 like, have witnesses be like, Peter Parker was there, and Spider Man was up there. Yeah. Or, and I mean, and, and it, no, there could be more in there. It can also be that Shield comes out and says this isn't true, and, and Shield listen, has the video. Somehow. And listen, they don't have to explain it at all because when you think about it. The MCU's done that all the time. Oh, Iron Man 3 ends with, I'm gonna blow up all my suits. Next film, he's, you know, has all no, suits. No, they wouldn't do that. That's too big. Y and you don't they're, think... They were setting up that up so much that they can't do that. I don't know. Cause, I mean, the Iron I mean, Man, I think that's different. I don't think... What, what, I don't know. But, like, same thing, you know. Like, they're building up this whole thing about, like, Hulk and stuff, and then he just, next film is, you know, Professor yeah. Hulk. They've done it plenty of times. Um, what other times? Um, yeah, I mean, I, they don't have to follow anything. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's so many times where they just... They, they just explain it in the next film. Even take WandaVision, for example, you know? One time she has an accent, and the next film she doesn't. I mean... It, well, she did have her accent when she said Petro. Was yeah, and then Thor... Thing? And then Thor... Uh, well, it's like a th if Thor know, one. There was the Infinity Gauntlet, and they retconned that. Well, that was saying it's fake. That's but not like... obviously when they made Thor, it wasn't supposed to be. Right. Fake. Yeah, they can retcon things. But so they... I, I think Spider Man being revealed is too big for them because of other things that say that. Because of, um, I guess the reason you could think that is in the the trailer for Morbius, like uh, the picture of Spider Man saying like murder or something over it. That could just have been an Easter. That could have just been an Easter, but I don't think they're gonna forget that. I don't know. I think. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I maybe, but at the same time, we don't know how many years passed. I mean, yeah. I I just think it's weird. Listen, for me, I don't think they need. I hope they. Honestly, I I was I was kind of sad that they're gonna bring in this whole multiverse thing because it's just cheesy. Why? Because like, it's like no, you see, you like seen how they handled it. Yeah, yet. I guess, but it just seems. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it just seems. Well, they have a. Marvel's never gonna do something for the for the like just to do it. There's always a secret behind something. I don't know, but then at the same time, you think of Avengers Endgame, and you're like, yeah, well, maybe. Because let's be honest here, a lot of the final battle. In Avengers Endgame was, you know, fan service. Yeah. And, I mean, the stuff with the time travel, I guess, makes sense. But let's be honest, what are the odds that every female Marvel character gets together? No, that was, that was like, fan service. And yeah, and, and so but I, that's they, not, they've that's proven... A, but you're saying that they, they, they've, they've never... I'm not saying they've never done anything just know. for the sake of fan service. I'm just saying I don't think they'll make a whole movie. Yeah, I don't know. They probably won't, but... And no one knows. The the cameos could be just short and stuff. I hope they are. There's nothing saying, like, there's gonna be, like, the three Spider-Men teaming up the whole movie. Because I think the thing about crossing them is you take the good and the bad. Because, like, with crossing over Amazing Spider-Man, you take the good, like, oh, this is Peter Parker, but you're also crossing over the stuff with, you know, Electro and stuff. And then with well, Spider-Man... I think it's a different Electro. I don't know. Uh, but then at the same time with... Wait, same thing when you bring in, you know, the the original Sam Raimi Spider Man. You're bringing the good with, you know, Spider Man one and two, but you're also bringing in the idea that Spider Man three exists in this multiverse type thing, and it's like Spider Man three with all the emo Spider Man stuff. I just think I love the MCU for this. Well, no, separate... we don't know when, like, if there's a multiverse. You don't know if there's like time travel involved with it too. That he could be going to when Spider Man two takes place. Yeah, I, you know, I think. 
I kind of was hoping for in these Spider-Man films, but we've kind of failed at is seeing Spider-Man just, instead of saving the world, just save the neighborhood. You know what I mean? I think that's what I loved about the original Spider-Man movies, was it wasn't, you know, Spider-Man trying to save everyone, it was just trying to save Mary Jane, and trying to save Mary Jane again, and trying to save Mary Jane again. Maybe this idea that, you know, Spider-Man was always the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and then the MCU, he's he's always saving... I mean, in Homecoming, he's not... That's not him yeah, saving the yeah. world. The world wouldn't have been destroyed. I guess it's mainly... I think another thing that I think of that I thought was was I was hoping for in Spider-Man Three that maybe will still come true, maybe we won't, is I feel like I we don't we have we've yet to have a true Spider-Man villain when you think about it. All these Spider-Man villains are villains of Iron Man that just so happens that Spider-Man tries to stop them. Like yeah. what's the bat? What's the reason why Vulture wants to do all this stuff to get back at Iron Man? What's the reason why Mysterio is doing all this stuff to get back at Iron Man? And Spider-Man just so happens to be the guy to stop them. I don't know. I don't really have much of a problem with that. Like, Vulture, it makes sense for him to be, like, a villain because of his daughter and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I like the twist. I, I really like Homecoming. I, I think Far From Home was... Oh, I like Far From Home. It was good. Not as good as Homecoming. Yeah, was Homecoming good. was better. It was funnier. It was, you know, it was just great. I don't think... I think... Uh, I, I like Far From Home. Far from Home. Um, but I think another thing is what I'd say is... And which... Which Spider-Man villain do you think was better? Vulture or Mysterio? Vulture? Yeah, Vulture to me. Because think, he has more relationship to Spider-Man. Yeah, that, that's that's what I think. I was fine with he's that. He's better motivation. I was fine with Vul- Vulture being mad at Tony Stark because it made sense. But then it ended up... Because it fine. ended up tying in directly to Spider-Man. It became personal for Peter Parker. It became personal for Vulture. Whereas Mysterio, it was kind of always... Let's get back at Tony, and and Spider Man just happens to stand in the way. It's less, yeah. a, um, you know, um, but it's interesting. Um, I don't, but that that's the thing. What's this movie gonna be about? Is it gonna be about covering the case? Is it gonna be that, you know, like I don't know. There's so much stuff going on. I I think once I the trailer comes out, we'll know a lot more. But that that's another thing is if Wandavision, if Wandavision does this like crazy stuff. Then who's gonna care? Maybe that. Maybe that's how they explain it. Maybe they're like about to go to like the trial or something. But when Wanda goes psycho, nobody gives a crap. Who like? Like believe me, if the world's going insane with this multiverse stuff. And and all of a sudden, there's a multiverse Zack walking into the portal. I'm not gonna care who Spider Man. I'm gonna care who's that multiverse Zack. Yeah. No. So I think maybe that's another great way to explain it. Is don't explain it. Just have something a bigger problem. Because you see that all the time in the real world. Um, like, also, here, do you think do you think it would be better if they made Doctor Strange 2 the middle one and not Spider-Man? Because, I'm sure there's a reason well, they're doing it in that order, but that would make it so WandaVision can kind of have more consequences, I guess. We'll have to... Because s- they're not going to... I don't think they're going to make Spider-Man 3 a sequel to WandaVision, because I don't think Sony would be like, yeah, let's just make this a sequel to your TV show. Uh, but I, I know it's going to be connected, but okay, I don't well, know if it's no. going to be... Um, okay, here's a couple things that I'll say. Number one, we'll never know the answer until we see Spider-Man 3, because for all we know, Spider-Man 3 direct, direct, for all we know, it doesn't tie into it, it just barely ties into it, or for all we know, this is more tied well, in. it has Doctor Strange, so it has to so tie I, in. So, I, I, I don't and know. And Kevin Feige wouldn't say it ties in. Yeah, like, I know it ties in. a tiny... Nothing. So I, I we'll we'll know after because for all we'll know after we spe- see Spider Man three because if we don't see we could say all we want oh yeah Spider Man three should be the third chapter but we watch Spider Man three and say no this is great it de- deserves to be the middle chapter we don't we just don't know until then and then as far as Spider Man three tying to Wandavision I think it's the other way around Sony would love for it to tie into really Wanda. you think that. Well, because they make all the money. I know that. I I'd assume that because. Well, I mean, I'd assume otherwise because I feel like Sony doesn't want to like directly time. But then you bring up a good point that Sony's like this is money. Sony is doesn't money. care if it's like they're more making Sony think about related. This. Think about this. What? Like the MCU makes billion dollar movies after billion dollar movies. Why wouldn't Sony want to do that if they're the like, like. It, it's not like the, like I think you're coming from the aspect that they don't Sony doesn't want to give free promotion to Wandavision. That's not really what I'm trying to say. I mean, I I have a feeling no, but you bring up the money aspect, then I realized they'd do it for the money. But what I was thinking is Sony would kind of want to like 
kind of stay away from that because they kind of want to have their own thing. Yeah, but... But, like, the end when of you the bring up the money part, I'm sure Sony will do yeah, it. Yeah, at the end money. of the day, think about that. I mean, they've already done it with Iron Like, think about this. If, they will, if they're willing to bring Iron Man, arguably the biggest character in the MCU, to Spider-Man Homecoming, and not only him being in Homecoming, but, you know... Far from far home. Far from home, too. Having a big influence. I just think it's, like... Think about it this way. Make it, think about it for Sony's aspect. We get to make an MCU movie and make every penny... Of, not every penny, obviously. Most of the pennies. A lot of dollars. You know, billions and billions of... Not billions. Millions and millions of dollars off of this. Then the more it's connected to the MCU, the better. Because And Sony doesn't even really do much of the work. Like, the movie is, like, made by yeah, Marvel. Yeah. They're just distributing it. Yeah, and so I think it's the... I think that's the kind of the, the thing that... That I think is like I think I'll, I think it's not just you. I think there's a lot of people that have like this misconception that they don't want to be connected. Cause I I've watched a you lot of videos. You bring up a good point. Now I believe that they would yeah, want to yeah, be yeah. connected. Cause yeah. I thought I forgot about the money part. Well, that, yeah, that, I mean that's the biggest. It's so much money from a Spider-Man movie. I actually don't know how much more they'd make from if it was tied into WandaVision. If uh, it was a bigger MCU event and the trailer had like Doctor Strange and stuff, I that could think. Help. It's not the idea that's connecting to WandaVision. It's the idea that it's connected to the Doctor overall Strange. picture. No, it's the it's the idea of their connect not necessarily specifically WandaVision, but the, the idea that Spider Man yeah the entirety the of the universe yeah stuff. because when you think that Spider Man Far From Home made a billion dollars at the box office because it was that pinnacle it was the kind of you know like I like to think about this the way of like that 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 um that 2019 for Marvel was like a burger where it's like. Captain Marvel, or, or the, a meal, let's just say this, a meal. You know, Captain Marvel was the appetizer to the big course, you know, mm-hmm. and, and it made a billion dollars because it was the appetizer to the big course. And then Endgame comes out, and that's the big course. It makes, you know, $2 billion at the box office, $2 billion plus, becomes the highest grossing film of all time, to, uh, worldwide. Boom, that's the main course. And then Spider-Man Far From Home was the dessert. Boom, makes a billion dollars. <laughs> and so... How, there's I, there is a genuine coincidence. I, I there is no coincidence. No coincidence of Spider-Man th- there's no coincidence from Spider-Man Far From Home being the one directly after Endgame and that making a billion dollars. So, do you think how if I had to give you 50 uh, what's your percent how much percent would you say it's um connected into WandaVision like 50 like Mm, yeah. Also, here's something I want to ask you. Do you, what do you think that's going to be called, Spider Man Three? A lot of people think it's going to be Homeworlds. Do you think it could be? Um, that? maybe. Um, <laughs> someone was joking around that because it's Christmas theme, it could be um, Spider Man Home for the Holidays. <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. Well, why Home? Well, like, what's your reason not? I don't know. Isn't that another movie, Home for the Holidays? Um, Is it Sony? I don't know. Wait, do Google Home for the Holidays movie. Yeah, it is a movie. Right. I know so it's maybe, a movie. So maybe there wouldn't. Uh, yeah, there probably won't. Now that, that Home for the Holidays. Oh, and it star- stars Look who. Oh, we were going to watch that movie, Lucas. Oh, yeah, it stars Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> no, we were going to watch that. Remember? Well, yeah, 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 but it didn't look so good. No, but um, I wonder it was a Thanksgiving who made movie. the movie. No, but. um. Does it say which company made it? Oh, oh it made two point one million dollars. Production, Egg Pictures. <laughs> Paramount. Paramount. Why did it say Egg Pictures? <laughs> like Egg Pictures. What? How did we get to here? Egg Pictures. How does that get to here? What is Egg Pictures? On Wikipedia, it says... Just, I'm it says, it. production company, Egg Pictures. And when you click on it, it brings up... The director. <laughs> so weird. Why is it bring up that? Is that Egg Productions? No, because that's the director. Wait, let me Google Egg Productions. Is that a real thing? Or is that just some idiot on Wikipedia? <laughs> Egg productions. <laughs> it just brings up an egg manufacturer. No, no, it just website. brings up how to make eggs. <laughs> egg production. You get two. You make. You make some chickens have a baby, and then you get hey, eggs. Yeah. Egg production. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe. A suite of content situations we hatch ideas and bring them to life. What we do. I wonder what egg productions does. Uh, what? This has nothing to do with eggs. It's just making three D animation. The 
that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. All right. I don't what know. Else? Maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to think of. I know that obviously the theme is home, but what? If, what about on a deeper level? Homecoming, coming home. I think it's about location. It's really about location. So you think it would be home worlds? It maybe because when you think about the com- commonality between all three is beyond just it having home is that it's location, home coming, far from home. So like home, you're at home. Far from home is you're far from home. And so maybe it's like I think possible it's- names for Spider Man three. Let's look at this. Um, Spider Man, no place like home. Spider Man, homeless. <laughs> Spider Man, leaving home. That's too similar to Far From Home. Spider Man Home Alone. No. Spider Man. They're not gonna do something that has another uh, title. Spider Man Home Invasion. No, no. They're, they're not gonna do something that has another movie in it because like some people refer. Wait, to... is She Hulk cameoing? Um. Or is this just this person guessing? Someone's guessing. All I'm right. Spider Man Home World. Yeah, some people think Home World. Spider uh, Spider Man Spider Verse Homecoming. No. Um. Uh, is there any other? I don't know. There's a lot of different, weird, you know, whatever channel stuff. Well, Lucas, um, another thing that's crazy is, um, um, about it all is, um, oh, what was I going to say? What am I losing? Spider-Man it? Homeless. Let's look at some new ideas. Spider-Man Homeless. Spider-Man Home Sweet Home. Well, I think they're not going to make, oh, here's what I was going to say, Lucas. They're not gonna make a movie. They're not gonna make it a. Mo- they're not gonna call it something that a movie is already called. Like they're not gonna call it Spider Man Home Alone. Well, no, because they could. Well, they because be. think about it. Sometimes we refer we refer to Spider Man Far From Home as just Far From Home. So when we refer to oh, I'm about to see the new MCU ho- movie called Home Alone. <laughs> guys, <laughs> like sometimes we might say oh, we're gonna see the new MCU movie Far From Home. That's okay because Far From Home's it's an original title. But if we say oh, we're gonna go see. MCU's new movie called Home for the Holidays. Spider-Man Home is where the heart is. Spider-Man Homeward Bound. Spider-Man Home Invasion. Spider-Man Phone Home. No. Spider-Man no. Home Front. Spider-Man Homeschooled. No. <laughs> Spider-Man Home well, Run. Like, isn't that creepy from the movie? Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man creepy. Home Stretch. Spider-Man Bring Home the Bacon. <laughs> Spider-Man Out of House and Home. Spider-Man Home Again, Alone. No, Spider-Man to Home to Roost. That's it. Home to My roast. favorite is Spider Man. <laughs> bring home the bacon. <laughs> oh, oh my God! The, the first trailer for Spider Man. Bring home the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that. Yeah, I mean, there's there. I think there's a thing. There's something that I think is is gonna be crazy. That that I hope it does. I hope this doesn't become the Last Jedi. You know what I mean? Because here's what happened with The Last Jedi. Oh, people think it's Spider-Man homesick. I don't know. Because here's what happened. Oh, God, you're squishing this guy. Oh, now, here's what happened. Lucas, I hope this doesn't happen what it happens with The Last Jedi. Because you know what happened with The Last Jedi is everybody's speculating that who's Snoke, who's Rey. Oh, my God, this is crazy. All these answers are going to come in, you know, Last Jedi. And then when they don't come. It's different. And support, Marvel has a plan. Unlike the last Jedi, yeah, Marvel has a plan with what they're doing. But I think it's I think plan or not, the idea of subverting your expectations is something that is tricky because we we joke about it all the time about all these casting Spider-Man, rumors. Spider-Man, bring home all the these bacon. all these casting rumors and stuff that like if they do like there's a gr- good chance that all these sp- casting rumors come true. But if they don't like like my if they don't come true. If we if we don't get this multiverse stuff, if we don't get you know Daredevil, which we uh, we probably won't, and if we don't get you know so and so and all the all these and oh, yeah, you um, know Mary, so uh, I think Mary the Jane. reason people think She Hulk would be in it would be as a lawyer for a trial, but I think if there were to do that, it would definitely be Daredevil. If they were to have the trial, I'm no, sure, and they were to no. have a superhero cameo, it would probably be Daredevil. I'm just saying if they were to have no, a superhero, the odds are for. She Hulk because yes, why? but would they want to introduce her to her own show? I mean, so far she's the only show that sh- her and Captain Miss Marvel are the only shows that are solely introduced in that show. Will they introduce her in another movie? They've done that for every other show. 
Loki didn't originate in a show. Well, no, because they didn't even... I think when they made Thor, they were never thinking it would ever get to the point where there'd be a Disney streaming service yeah. for a Loki TV show. I'm sure that was the smallest thing in their mind. They probably didn't even think Disney would be associated with Marvel. I guess... I want to see an alternate... I wish I could look at an alternate universe where Disney bought the rights to DC. I'd like to see what they um. would do with DC. I don't know. Do you well, think Marvel, I mean, Disney will one day become big enough to buy Warner Brothers? No. Alright, I just want I just want to see a, well, uh, a, a well, Justice League vs. Avengers Well, crossover. with all these lawsuits going on. Well, I mean, not, I mean, not a lot of lawsuits going on. Yeah. I mean, Is Warner Bros. like stock changing at all since they you know, uh, switched to HBO Max? Mm, no, I don't know. I want to see. There's a Warner Brothers stock. I mean, sure, maybe, I don't know. I mean, know, not because well why time. would the... I know as soon as... Well, I knew what happened. As, literally, as soon as Warner Brothers announced that, AMC stock crashed. I'm not going to check this. Yeah, that would make sense. I'm sure all movie theaters but, dropped after listen, that. listen, Warner Brothers is in a load of crap right now. Because think about it. You know... Oh, 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 that's another big news. I don't know, maybe not for you. Is Warner Bros. Necessary. backtracking? Um... Uh, a big news. Oh, yeah! Tomorrow's uh, King Kong. Trip. Oh, yeah! I'm excited for that. Is it going to come out at midnight? We can watch that in an hour? No, probably not. Probably, like, Google time. Uh, it's not coming out at midnight. What though. time is... Probably, I'd ge- I guess noon. Noon. Uh, Kong vs. God. I know it's not even the name of the movie, but... I'm just going to do Lucas, it. Lucas, would you want to rewatch? Would you want to do a movie commentary with me? Talk about... Godzilla, King of the Monsters. No, I don't want to watch it again. It's too long. Uh, ten thirty to eleven p.m. Is the on. range okay? Wait, what time zone? Time zone. All right, let's look at this website. So, except the trailer to arrive typically at eleven thirty p.m. time slot. Really? They do it late? I guess that's like seven ish p.m. P.m. Think about it. No, it's not that. All right, let's look at. Wait, p.m. Yeah, it said PM. That'd be like that's like twenty four hours from it. What time will be online? I'm looking. I'm looking. Does it say? Doesn't look like it's so. it. In this, it says twelve PM EST. So no one knows it looks like. Okay, so no. Because this is saying twelve PM, and the other one said ten PM. But if it's twelve PM, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, so just some point tomorrow, a King Kong trailer, Godzilla vs. King Kong trailer will drop. Yeah, no one really knew. Give you a quick um, re- review of King Kong, Godzilla vs. the Monsters. Godzilla. I think it would make sense to do it at 12 p.m. EST. Um, w- um, okay, uh, this is another good idea. If you could pick, the what would you hope, or what would you want to be the fifth... Um, installment in the franchise. All right, so it depends on what they set up. I think they're gonna try doing another spinoff, maybe, because I think they're not gonna want to milk Godzilla and Kong. They're gonna need to let them rest. There could be like a rebirth oh, okay. of Mothra, because in the in the original uh, Toho movies, Wait, Mothra that, that had eggs. Dawned on me. They literally seem to be going in a similar. To the DCEU route. And here's what I mean by that. You start off with your main character. Your main character getting your... Kicking off the franchise. Man of Steel equals original Godzilla. Yeah. The only difference is they're they'll giving Kong his own movie where they didn't give Batman his own movie. And so basically, this is their big fight. Also, uh, King of the Monsters is not like Justice League. That's a Godzilla movie with like a couple other monsters thrown in. It's more of a, a spiritual successor to um, Godzilla vs. Ghidorah. Or, uh, what is it called? I think it's Kill All Monsters. They might Godzilla. do, uh... Godzilla... Well, they might... Do... I wonder if they, they could do a Godzilla prequel. Oh, well, we also don't know because we don't know who's gonna win or not. Or, I think fight. it might be Godzilla King, um, or it could be. I think Destroy there's one them. called. Oh, you're right. It's Destroy All Monsters, but it might also be Godzilla, um, Ghidorah. Oh, you know it'd be. You know it'd be the perfect franchise crossover. Bringing in the MonsterVerse and the Transformers together. 
No, if they were to cross it over, something would be Pacific Rim, because that's maybe the same people. Oh, yeah, maybe Pacific Rim. No, I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to keep this its own thing. Just, oh, yeah, do you know what's even... Uh, do you know what's happening in um, Godzilla vs. Kong? So, this company called Apex that wants to kill all the Titans. Do you know what the Titans are? The big monsters. Yeah. So, they got... Don't tell... Didn't... Didn't... Well, watch um, Godzilla vs. Kong... Or Godzilla King of Monsters. Yeah, for spoilers. In so, in the end credit scene of Kill All... Not Kill All Monsters. King of the Monsters... They find the uh, one of Ghidorah, the three headed monster's heads. So they're try- They're gonna use the brain of Ghidorah to build and a and a skeleton of a dead Godzilla to build Mecha Godzilla. And oh, so exactly. what they're planning is what Apex wants is Godzilla versus Kong to fight one of them to lose, so the Mecha Godzilla can kill uh, one yeah. of them because they're too powerful. So is, what th- they're gonna do is slowly kill all the titans. Which do you think? Um, Mon- so the company Monarch from uh, King of the Monsters doesn't want the titans to be killed. So okay. they're trying to stop Apex what by the, getting Godzilla and Kong to not fight, team up with. What are the chances that like uh, another monster like Mothra will show up in this? All right, so there's a hundred percent gonna be more than Godzilla and Kong. So I don't know if you saw this, but. Since you didn't watch King of the Monsters, there's an end scene. Well, I'll watch the movie. Uh, how? King Godzilla. Wait, King. all? Not how. All Godzilla King of the Monsters Titans. How many were there? Oh, uh, there's a couple. So, here, there's I think Mothra. there. I hope there's less. There's Godzilla. Obviously. Mothra. Uh, Ghidorah and Rodan. I think Rodan survived. Ghidorah and Mothra died. Actually, I think Rodan might have died too. No, Rodan. Rodan survived. The new Muto. Oh yeah, new Muto is alive. Uh, there. This one's alive. This one's alive. This one's alive. Kong this one's of course alive. alive. Kong wasn't in the movie, but like, there was an end scene. Let me just get a uh, King of the. Monsters. Wait, did you when you watch King Godzilla King of the Monsters? Was it before or after um, Godzilla vs Kong was announced? I think it was after. Well, no, that was announced even before the movie came out. I think. Not post credit scene. I just want. Well, did you see the end credit scene for Godzilla no. King of the Monsters? Okay, we're gonna end the video now. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I can show you this anyway. Bye.